Uh, hello. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers, sisters, friends, comrades on YouTube. My family. Hello, my love. I love you. I miss you tremendously. But hopefully that's not going to be for very much longer. Good news today that I already shared with my love is that I'm off this truck March 6th. I'm looking very forward to being off this truck on March 6th. Uh, I wish it could be February 26th, but whatever. It is what it is. So March 6th it is. I can't wait. Um, my own truck, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, going forward, no problems rolling forward, up the hill, down the hill, fetch a pellet of water. We're good to go. Um, backing, I think everybody at some level improves on their backing uh, every time they do it. So I feel like I'll be no exception to that. I'm getting much better every day. Um, but, the, you know, every place is different. Some places are looser than others. Some places are tighter than others. You can really swing it in there, no problem. Sometimes it takes, you know, a lot of stabs to do it, which again, we've just, we've discussed this before. It doesn't matter how many times it takes you to pull forward and back into a place. No prizes to be given. Just get the daggum thing in now so they can unload it. This is all you got to do. Uh, we spent the night last night in Twin Falls. Um, it was uh, Flying J there in Twin Falls that I stayed at, showered this morning, um, and Trainer Ed spent the night at his home, which is good for him. Uh, this evening, we're in Twin Falls. He's spending the night at home again, and that's because everything shut down in Wyoming. Uh, and this is going to be our main route. We're on a load headed to Loveland, Colorado, just south of Fort Collins and um, above Denver. And um, when you shut down a main interstate like that, there is no parking. There will be no parking to be had along Interstate 80 because, first of all, most of it is in within the closed section. And anything east of the closed mark and anything west of the closed mark eh, eh, ain't happening. So we're in Twin Falls again because there's not going to be any parking much further down the road. So we're just going to stay right here in Twin Falls again. Fine with me. Fine with me. I like staying by myself on a drug. Um, I'm staying at that gas station you've seen me stay at before. Pointing out the front window right here. There is um, a restroom facility in there. They have bean to cup coffee up in there. I love that stuff. Man, I'm getting hooked on that, let me tell you. Babe, we need to maybe think about an investment. Man, that straight bean to coffee cup. Delish. Uh, so, we are on another Simplot load. I've talked about Simplot before. They're a gigantic food company. Uh, and I'd like to talk about that for a moment because there's some interesting things going on here. Uh, we have to have this load, weather permitting, um, you know, passage permitting, uh, midnight tomorrow. Uh, that's when this load is due. I, I hope we get it. We're really going to shoot for it. If we don't get it, it's not it wouldn't it's not because of us. We'll be there. We'll leave in plenty of time. But if the road is closed, Interstate 80 to get over to the 25 to go south, which is what we're doing, that's not that's not our fault. That's a weather issue and it's a safety issue. And it's just it's it's a safety issue because the state of Wyoming is making it one. Okay? So that's fine. They can do that. But midnight's the due time um, down in um, Loveland at U.S. Foods. And hopefully it gets there. So I want to talk about what we have. Okay, we're, I'm going to talk about a couple of things what, uh, for the kind of things that vendors want done by the trucking companies. And here, here's what we're hauling. We have, um, I forgot to look at the poundage. 
the total gross weight of the load of vehicle and all is um, 78,000 and some change. Um, we're perfectly legal. We're carrying 41 and a half thousand pounds of things like, and I got a a pretty cool list right here of everything that's on this truck right here, okay? So we have sliced strawberries, Form 101 HB Patty. What is that? Somebody write down in the comments what an HB Patty is. I have no idea. Uh, broccoli florets, fries, seasoned wedges, uh, smooth yellow squash, corn, roasted corn, um, edamame shelled, you know those beans, my wife, she loves those things. I wish I could get some of these for you, babe. We, <laughs> you believe me, you'd have a lot. Uh, so we got some of those, some peas, and some peppers, uh, diced green peppers. So all of it's frozen. Here's what's interesting about this, though. So, oh, wait a minute, there's more over here. Oh, no, it's just uh, order numbers and stuff. But here's the interesting thing about this. There's a description box as you can see right in here. And this very last sentence right here says, place recorder on the last FSA pallet loaded. Well, what the hell is that? What that is, is the vendor will put a thermometer recorder in a trip. We're at a minus 10 on this load. They put a recorder in there that will let them know. I don't know about the customer, but it'll certainly let Simplot know on whether or not our trailer has been at the proper temperature for the entire trip. Pretty interesting. Um, it's the first time I've seen that on um, my, in my travels, but uh, it's uh, dadgum show we're on now and it's uh, required on all loads with frozen products. So pretty interesting stuff there. They're gonna be keeping very hard track of this particular load, and that's fine. And uh, we'll get it there in one piece, and we'll get it there frozen, solid, minus 10. <laughs> so after we, we've already got another uh, load to go back, what they call the back haul, We've already got a backhaul, um, and it's a load of beer from Miller Coors, who have merged forces. And so we're going to Golden, Colorado after we leave Loveland to the Coors plant to pick up a load of beer. Uh, my trainer is not excited about that load at all because he thinks that it's going to be yet again another fiasco, which it has been in his past many times. He's been to this place a lot and he's pretty well convinced that it's going to be just a fiasco. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, it'll be my, obviously, my first time there. So I told him, hey, maybe this will be your best trip ever. Maybe. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, beer load back to Caldwell. It's a relay load, which means that we're just taking the trailer there, dropping it, and that's that. Here's the here's the part that's a little bit nerve wracking. Um, I've spoken before about the um, hours of service HOS. It's a clock. It's right here by my side. <laughs> and uh, the problem is, is that I have a little more than 21 hours left on my 70 hour clock. So tomorrow whenever we get this thing fired off great I have I have time but here's what's gonna happen uh, trainer Ed is gonna start driving when he starts driving I'm not coming out of sleeper birth I'm staying in sleeper birth so 
once I come out of sleeper birth and go on duty, that's when my clock will start, okay? So that gets us later in the day. We've got just over 600 miles to go from where we are now. So that's how we're able to sort of play this clock game with two people on the truck. With one person on the truck, it's probably an impossible logistic to get this load to uh, the, the proper receiver at the requested time because of the I-80 being shut down. Uh, it makes it very difficult for us to be able to get it there on time with just one driver. So if we play a little bit of the clock game and Ed fires off first, I stay in sleeper, then I'm not even recorded as being on duty. And that's what whittles down that 21 hour clock. Did you hear that? This is the loudest freaking reefer unit ever. My goodness, I thought there was a plane coming in like to the cab. Anyway, I can hear that thing fire up rolling down the road. I mean, that's how loud that thing is. It's freaking loud. But anyway, so when my 21 hour clock starts, hopefully it'll be much later in the day, like in the afternoon. We have a 12 o'clock appointment as I keep saying. So the later my time starts, the, the, um, the easier it's going to be to get it there in in with us still having time left on our clock so um uh his on duty clock will keep rolling though but as long as he's not driving he can be on duty this is what he tells me i don't i don't know if this is right or not but he's rolling with it so it doesn't really matter he's doing it uh it, it, he can stay on duty forever it doesn't he could do it for infinity as long as he's not driving it doesn't matter he says it's because he's a trainer okay fair enough if that's how that's gonna roll then good I mean that that works out that means we might have a chance to get it there on time uh, and be back at Coors on time however probably gonna end up taking a 34 well I actually we might take a 34 on the road, but I kind of doubt it because I'm going to start getting some recaps back. Um, I noticed I have a couple coming back that are nine hours a piece plus, and then I have one coming back that's 12 hours. So we might be able to play the recap game for the backhaul. So we'll see. It's going to be an interesting uh, event to be sure. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll let you know much more as it comes into the newsroom. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much once again for watching, everybody. I appreciate you um, very much, actually. And uh, comments. Make some comments in there. See uh, see what's on your old mind. And um, I'll try my best to respond as I am a working truck driver. I like them words. I think that's kind of cute and um, uh, we'll get a response into you at some point that's for sure I, I like to be able to respond I love the uh, interaction I like to know what y'all are thinking and I love the questions uh, if there are any you know this is an interesting industry an interesting field and it's not just about driving the truck forward and backward there's a whole lot else going on between the paperwork um, the receiver, the hours of service, the system on letting the company know that I've departed, that I've accepted the load, that we've done a, a vehicle inspection, um, you know, just the whole nine yards. There's, you know, there's a whole lot more to it than just forward and backward in this truck. So I'm trying to keep you all up to speed to it. Hope I'm doing okay. I hope you are too, and thanks again. I appreciate y'all coming. You know who love you. It is your boy, Clydesdale. Let's keep our heads swiveling, shall we? Be careful out there. Watch your back. You know who love you. Peace!